My name is Mary Dugan. I am a member of the Port Leash Parish here in County Leash in Ireland. I've been a member here for seven years. I grew up in County Galway in Ireland in a very Catholic family. We went to Mass every Sunday. My dad insisted on the rosary during the month of May and October. I was educated by the nuns at the Mercy Convent. And my teenage years were during the 1970s where there was a great emphasis on Jesus as our brother and our friend. And I found as I went through my teenage years, I worried a lot about a lot of things. I had a lot of anxiety and a lot of sadness about the world around me and things that were going on. And I came to understand that Jesus was really the one person who could understand me through and through. As um, I grew older, I moved to the United States where I lived for 20 years. I became more deeply involved in my faith. I worked with, um, in music ministry for three different churches. And then my life took another turbulent turn and that's when I found myself really drawn to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. I would sit for long periods of time in the church on my own before the tabernacle. And it was the only place that I found peace and strength and grace. We're very lucky here in Port Leash Parish Church that we have adoration seven days a week. The Blessed Sacrament is exposed after the 10 a.m. Mass every day and is reposed after the Rosary in the evening. So it's a wonderful privilege. And I think it's a gift that Jesus has given me that I have the belief in Him in the Blessed Sacrament. I think every human being has a deep longing and desire to be understood, to be known fully for who we are. And I think Jesus is that person. Jesus himself in the gospel said to us, come all you who labor and are overburdened and I will give you rest. And so many are burdened at this time with many different things. It could be ill health, it could be mental or physical, it could be disabilities of any kind, it could be worries about employment, our family members. We can be burdened with shame or guilt about events in our past. And Jesus is saying to us to just come to him and lay everything at his feet. And he accepts us completely with an unconditional love. And it may be that to spend a full hour seems very daunting in the beginning. We're all distracted, we all have lots of things going on in life. But maybe to start with just 15 minutes, to make a habit of saying, okay, I'll be in town today, instead of passing by the church, I will just go in and sit for 15 minutes, maybe say some favorite prayers, maybe just sit there and let the Lord look into your heart and he knows your needs. And you will find that once you do that 15 minutes, it will grow into a half hour and then maybe an hour. And I find the longer I sit with the Lord, the more I'm able to just sit there and I get a deep, deep, peace. Also, we can feel very alone in our faith in this day and age. The world doesn't want to acknowledge Jesus or acknowledge God. And sometimes even in your own family circle or among your friends, you might be the one with a deep faith. And it seems no one understands that. But when you come to church and you sit quietly with the Lord, you see other people who are there every day you may not know their names, but you have that bond with them. You know you're not alone. Other people are here. And that gives you a lovely feeling of comfort as well. 
And then there's the other side. It's not all about what we get from Jesus. But there will be times when you will be totally distracted. There will be noise. The heating may have broken down and the church may be very, very cold, especially in the winter months. And your first impulse is to just pack up and go home and tell the Lord, no, I'll come back another day. But then you realize this is something the Lord is asking me to do, to just hang on and do this, do this for Him. And it's a little way of proving, for me anyway, my love for Him, that I will stay when it doesn't feel convenient or conducive to prayer. I really feel if more and more people came to know the peace and the strength that comes from it, that the churches would be packed out because people would want to keep coming back more and more because Jesus truly is the Lord of Lord and King of Kings and he truly does reside in the tabernacle in every church around the world and he just waits for us to come to him and he is always there for us. It's a great joy for me to endorse Shalom World TV. I was delighted to hear that they were going to be based in Port Leisha, in our diocese, in a studio there in the parish, to base their Irish operation. I'm delighted to welcome the Shalom team. They will be invaluable partners for the Meeting of the World Meeting of Families when we host it in Dublin in 2018. And they'll be a marvelous tool to deepen the evangelization and the spreading of the good news around our country. The greatest challenge today for all of us in faith is communication. Communicating the message and doing it well. I thank Shalom for making their contribution to the world of media and their contribution to allowing the good news to be heard to the ends of the earth. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless all who work in Shalom and all who watch their stations. May St. Bridget accompany you on your journey. May St. Connell be with you and St. Lazarian stay beside you. Amen. Shalom world, God's own channel.